they were saying that the Teen Titans can't function without a Robin. Mm -hmm. They can't function without a Robin. Robin held them together. And it's not the same without the Teen Titans with the Robin. Mm -hmm. That last page of Teen Titans number 24 sets the stage for Teen Titans Rebirth in September. Why don't you tell them what we saw there? Because that was one of the things. Major plot point advancement. Here you go. Right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Major plot point number one. Yeah, with, uh, you know, a shot of the Bat Cave and Damien standing before, you know, the um, little display of one of the, the previous Red Robin costumes. Yep. Kind of standing there, you know, his finger on his lip thinking, you know, yep. maybe, I can, maybe I can lead that. Mm -hmm. you know. Trying to go to that legacy. So that was, wow, when I saw that issue, I was, wow, this makes a lot of sense. This is why he's reforming the Teen Titans in a way because of the void left by Tim Drake. Mm -hmm. Because I've, he's always wants to be better than Tim. And let's talk about that second, the final three pages of Detective Comics number 940 is the reason why we're having this now. Tim Drake is not dead. Uh -huh. He is not dead. But more important than that, he's being held somewhere by the mysterious person that we've been seeing in Action Comics in DC Rebirth, Oz, mm -hmm. which I think is Osmodeus, but he's being held. Mm -hmm. He's been taken off the board. Yep. And the reason he's being taken off the board is, you want to say? Yeah, he, he, the guy tells Red Robin that uh, he's trying to reconnect connections that can't be reconnected. Yes. You know, I, it makes me think it's something kind of like uh, with Wally West yep. running around. He's, he's linking back all these memories. Yes. And apparently, uh, you know, maybe Tim Drake's been doing that too, mm -hmm. you know, along the way. And apparently, you know, it kind of almost makes me think it's like a, a computer. You know, mm -hmm. where you have a link to a file that can't be restored, so that... Right. That file is just broken. You know, when you click on that shortcut, it doesn't take you anywhere. Yeah, you know, it makes me think it's something like that, but I don't know. It, well, that would be the connection between the uh, pre-Flashpoint universe and the New 52. Yeah. He said you had to be taken off the board. Is You're loved by so many. You're such an integral part of this universe that we had to take you out. And he said, we. Mm -hmm. Who is we? That's a big question. Yep. Who is we? And not only that, when the last panel, they showed Tim in his cell, if you want to call it. There's two other cells right beside him. And the kind of there's some silhouettes, kind of shadows. Are there people in there? Are there not people? And you thought of a couple of people that might be I, in there. I thought of a couple from, um, I think it was DC Rebirth number one. We had um, Pandora. Yes. Gets chased down by someone and she calls him, uh, you know, some really, you know, you're some terrible person. Right. And then she gets sort of poofed in that. Yep. You know, of a blue smoke and then later on I don't remember which issue it was it was before that um, it was uh, Justice, Justice League, League 52 yeah um, Owlman gets yep. taken out of uh, Metron's Mobius chair mm -hmm. you know and that really reminded me of like uh, when Rorschach gets killed at the end yes. of Watchmen you know it had that same sort of smoke so what it. if maybe if Rorschach is in one of those uh, I that just would, thought of that that would be kind of cool yeah it's because it, they said we first time we know uh, Oz, you brought up something uh, earlier is uh, what is going on with Doomsday? We're going to find out in a couple yep. of uh, episodes. Why, why are these people being taken off the board, if you will, mm -hmm. and why these particular ones? So that'd be kind of cool if Rorschach, because eventually we will see the Watchmen in this DC universe proper. That would be cool. Rorschach, Owlman, yeah. Pandora, Tim Drake. Just yeah. Dr. Manhattan and Oz maybe working together, but it was just so cool. Those last three pages, I was looking going, whoa. Josh, you need to read these. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was, it was good for me, too, because I will say I was pretty annoyed that they killed Tim Drake. Yeah. That was annoying. I, I, yeah, it's a character I like. I get annoyed yes. when they kill characters I like, which is, which is pretty, pretty common. I mean, they killed... They killed Nightcrawler and X-Men. They killed Snake mm -hmm. Eyes and G.I. Joe. It's like, all right, let's just, you know, great. Another Josh favorite gets killed. And then... Not allowed know, to have favorites. I guess not. Yeah. And then you make it to that last page, like, yay! Yeah. You know, yay! Deus Ex Machida. <laughs> He's... But, 
Yeah, but how long will, but where do we go from here? Let's start real quick, uh, wrap this up, but where do we go from here? Teen Titans, we know it's Teen Titans Rebirth. Damien tries to bring the Titans back together with Kid Flash, with um, Beast Boy and uh, Raven and someone else, right? Starfire? Yeah. Starfire, yeah. yep. Sort of the, the classic, yeah. I mean, they're not classic, but sort of like the animated Titans and, and more classic Titans characters. And so now we know kind of the reasoning why Damien brings the, the band back together. Mm -hmm. Detective Comics, after they a uh, few issues, we've got, uh, what is it, the Monster Men are coming. Mm -hmm. But let's see what happens with Bruce Wayne's uh, persona and his attitude going forward with this. And I don't think we've seen the last of the colony because Ulysses is still around. I mm -hmm. think there's something to be said with that person wearing the hat with the beady black eyes. Yeah, He's got to be some type of integral to the plot. And let's see where Batwoman winds up in the DC yeah. universe. And what, what happens to Colonel Kane? Because this is a guy who knows yes. that Batman is Bruce Wayne. Yes. I mean, that's going to be pretty dangerous for Batman to release into any custody. Yep, so we'll, definitely. So we'll see where that goes. And what will happen in the future with uh, Oz and Dr. Manhattan and Tim with Tim Drake? This is a big plot point to me. I, I keep on saying it, but this was something was, wow, the momentum that they had with DC Rebirth keeps going. And they're kind of putting in these seeds of, let's not forget, there's a bigger issue at play here. Yeah. Yeah, and then... Yeah, you know, Red Robin's. I, I, I was kind of happy that he gets tapped to be one of the. Yes. Yeah, one of the characters really involved in that. Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't right now. You know, so far it's it's uh, you know pre Flashpoint Wally West. Yep. Is sort of the, you know, one of the central characters. Mm -hmm. Now I think, I think Red Robin might be playing a bigger role. That was cool. Later one on. thing, yeah, he did say Robin out when he got off the comms, and was uh, saying, you know, give my, uh, you know, tell everyone I cared about him, Damien. Jason, Dick, da da da, Alfred, Robin out, you know, yeah. Hey, Robin. Yeah. So maybe that was one of the things to not take you out. So any any other thoughts on this uh, special edition? Uh, any thoughts on those issues that we talked about? Um, it's it's a nice kind of ending to this this detective comic story arc. Yes. Um, especially when I got to those last three pages, I thought if this story arc had been a film. That, yes. would, that would be the after credits scene. It, that, definitely that what I be, felt like. You know, that's that would what be, I felt you like. sit through the credits, you find out Red Robin's still alive. Yeah, and he's, people would be he's cheering. He's somewhere else. It would, yeah, that would be nuts. Not only they find out he's live of, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> and there's something bigger going on, which is, exactly. which is what most after credit scenes Should end, be. Up, end yep. up doing. Yeah. Well, this has been a special edition, Red Robin's Fate of uh, Comic Book Cove. I'm Tom Morris and the obscure comic book figure collector himself. <laughs> Josh Holderbaum. <laughs> and we will see you with our regular episodes on Friday at 9 p.m. on YouTube and on Facebook. So any uh, questions, comments, and what you thought of these issues, drop us a line. Until then, keep reading, keep enjoying pop culture. See you next time.